We've made beachheads on both sides of the island and captured the southern airfield. From here, we can take the rest of the island. Your mission is to attack the Japanese defenses around the northern airfield. Once you've completed your objectives, head south to support an assault on Mount Suribashi by the Marines. The Japs on top of that mountain can put fire down on anything that moves on this rock, and we're getting a little sick of the attention. Take them out and cover the Marines until they get to the top. We just got our first load of the new Bearcat fighters. It's a tough and fast little SOB, perfect for a mission like this. Clear, Lexington. I am moving to attack the airfield. This is B-25, flight leader Lee route. We are approaching Iwo Jima. ETA, two minutes. I hope you flatten their AA, pilot. Can't fight us! I'll take care of this lot! Crow, the only way to make sure you got him. 
Mount Suribachi is the key to taking this goddamn island. You have to destroy it, or they'll just keep raining down artillery on us. You can weaken it by first taking out the comm center. Then hit the power station before focusing on the main complex. You guys stay out of its way. I'll take care of this. I am Shun Nogawa, leader of the Southeast Squadron. Lieutenant Crow, know this. You will never set foot on Japanese soil while I yet live. I challenge you. You and your squadron killed a lot of my friends, Agawa. My brother on the Arizona, he never even had a chance. Well, perhaps today you will join him. Enough talk. Fight or die. Are you a man by your fear? Did you feel that, America? No, no.
Charlie. I got him. I got the bastard. I didn't care that Iwo Jima was won, or that the way lay opened in Japan. I only cared that I defeated Shunagawa in the 13th Squadron, and that I'd avenged Charlie's death. The Admiral presented us with the Distinguished Flying Cross for achievement for our country, and then he sent us home. For our squadron, the war was over. I didn't know what to feel, jubilation or relief. I survived, but I'd lost so much in just a few years. My brother and father were dead, as well as countless good men I flew with. I sent a lot of Japs to the bottom of the ocean. Some of them must have been good men too. Pretty soon we shipped out for home. It was the longest trip I'd ever taken, but I'll never forget seeing the U.S. soil again. Mom looked tired, but boy was I glad to see her. First thing we did was catch a train to Washington, D.C. to see where Charlie and Dad were buried. I still see Callahan and the rest of the boys every year. We have a drink and salute the thousands of men who are the real heroes of the Pacific. The invasion of Iwo Jima was the final stepping stone to Japan. Once we controlled the airfield on the island, we could easily stage bombing raids against mainland Japan itself. In the first raid alone, almost 280 super fortresses bombed Tokyo and raced 10 square miles of the city. Back in the US, our scientists were working on a top secret project to develop a fearsome new weapon, the atomic bomb. But the Japanese weren't about to give up. When their prime minister announced that they would fight to the end rather than surrender, our leaders authorized the dropping of the A-bomb. They hoped that in the long run, this would kill fewer people than a full-scale land invasion. Just 10 days after the Trinity test, the parts were shipped to Tinian Island. On the 6th of August, the Enola Gay lifted off from Tinian and headed for Japan. Just three and a half hours later, they reached the city of Hiroshima. The bomb, Little Boy, detonated 2,000 feet off the ground. The blast leveled 90% of the city. Three days later, the boxcar headed for the island of Kyushu. The weather got bad, so the pilot switched to his secondary target, a torpedo factory at Nagasaki. His bomb, Fat Man, exploded over Nagasaki. The hills limited the damage to just 30% of the city. All up, the bombs killed about 100,000 people and injured more. Five days after Nagasaki, the Japanese Emperor Hirohito announced his country's surrender. The war was over. We'd beaten the Japs, peace was restored in the Pacific, and our boys headed home. <laughs>